this. Alrighty, hi, I'm Olivia from Let's Go Studio, and I'm going to show you how to um, make elements from Creative Market color changeable on Canva. So here's the deal. On Canva, we love Canva, we want to use Canva. I'm going to create a new design here and do a demo. We want our items to be color changeable, which means when I come over here and add a logo, I'm not sure which one of these is color changeable. I think I did one already. Yep. So when we add a logo like this, I want my client to have flexibility and control. So that means they can change the colors of the alpacas here. We can change this right here so that when they're designing, if they have a post like this and they want the colors to pop, they can easily come in here and change them around so that they are a more approachable color palette. This is super important, but it goes beyond just the logo. I also want their assets and brand elements to also be color changeable. So for me, that looks like uh, looking at brand files. So when I upload brand files for my clients, I like to make sure that um, any sort of like fun frames that I add or under images or any of this stuff that my client can change the color so that they can design to their heart's content. But the problem is, of course, that how on earth do you upload elements like this to Canva to make them color changeable? And I'm gonna tell you right now, the secret is the SVG or the Scalable Vector Graphic Format. This right here, you need SVGs. So some luckily come with that. There were some really cute um, Boho map elements on Creative Market. Uh, this guy, so my client downloaded this Boho map elements, very cute. They come in SVGs, so that is excellent. So here we are. So that means when I bring this over back over to Canva, uh, my demo, I could grab a Boho element. I don't want that. Uh, I could grab this element and put it into Canva, wait for it to completely upload, and ta-da, the color is going to be changeable, which is really, really exciting. Now, I don't want my client to have to recolor every single time, so I'm going to walk you through the process using some other packs that she downloaded. So she also downloaded this Retro Vibes clip art, this playful abstract collection. So I'm going to show you from purchase to Illustrator, I'm using Adobe Illustrator for this, to uploading to Canva. All right, here we go. So first, um, obviously go to Creative Market and download. You need to make sure that there is an EPS or vector element. Now, I got lucky that there's SVG formats for this one. However, it's not in her brand color, so I'm just gonna go the extra step. But you're looking for a vector EPS SVG format. PNG is not gonna be it. They're saying PNG files are suitable for Canva, but they're not color changeable. So go ahead and add to cart, buy now, get the folder, unzip the folder. Your folders will look like this. Some They're all going to be different. Some people put all of them in one um, thing and sometimes you've got to click around. So I have right here, let's do a different one, these nature elements um, that I want to upload to Canva for my client. So I'm going to paste her color palette right here. Perfect. I'm going to unlock this background layer because it's distracting to me and delete that. And I'm first going to change all of the colors to my client's brand colors. I'm not gonna be too nitpicky about it because again, she's gonna be able to change the color. So I use the white arrow tool, I hit A, to click on the color that I want to massively change. I go to select same fill color. It's gonna select all of the navy that I don't want. And we're gonna use her bright blue. Yeah, we're gonna use her bright blue for that. Then one by one, I'm going to go through and select all of these and replace them with my client's brand colors. It's kind of a tedious process, but um, has great results. The client is always super thrilled with it. Uh, 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 uh. So I'm just gonna do this, let you watch this process. I probably could make a, I, I know, I could make a hockey for fill color, I'm just, it's not lazy, I'm just avoidant toward making myself 
easier things to do. I don't know why. So we're just going to make all of her brand colors here. I think I've got a majority of them. Select same little color. And I'm not of the opinion that it's the end of the world if I miss one. Because um, again, she can change it as long as they are overarching similar. I think, oh, whatever this muddy color is, I don't want that. Same fill color. Let's replace that with, she has a brown. I don't love the brown. I prefer like maybe more navy or more of that color again. Yeah. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of these elements, cool, awesome. Now you need to make sure there's no strokes, right? So I'm gonna select everything. I don't see any stroke color. SVGs cannot have text or stroke. You have to make sure that that is done. So now all of these great little doodle doodles are in my client's uh, brand colors. So I'm gonna select, oh, no, this one's not. I'd rather that be that color. Okay, cool, I'm just being, okay. So now I'm gonna select all of these. So you're gonna wanna make sure that each of them is grouped, right? So you need to make sure that your individual shape is grouped. You don't want it to be like this. It needs to be each item you want uploaded needs to be a shape. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to come up here to my asset export, drag these over. Obviously there's a bajillion of them. So I am not going to care one bit about naming all of them. It doesn't matter. She'll be able to use them. Um, down here under the export settings, you're going to add a scale needs to be SVG. I already have that. Awesome. Then you're going to click export. And it's going to ask you, well, I have it set up <laughs> where it's going to ask you where you want them. So I'm going to do map nature here, choose export. Awesome. I'm going to come back over to Canva and my client's folder is brand files. So I've made a lot of stuff. So I've got map elements here, flowers and botanicals, but I'm going to add another folder called, um, map nature, I guess. Um, she can obviously change that. Once you're in this folder, come over to your finder window, find that folder, select all of these, drag them over, sip your copy, get some water, wait for this. Just give it a break. This is lightning speed compared to five years ago, three years ago even. So we're gonna let that um, upload. I'm gonna pause so you guys don't have to watch it. All right, those are close to done now. So I'm gonna come back over here to my demo page I was showing you guys. I'm gonna come over to brand files and I know that I added map nature. And now when I click these, she can add these things. She can make them white. Yay, check it out. Um, you can check if any of them don't come through, it might mean there are too many colors. So I was worried about this guy. Yep. So Canva can't handle so many colors. So something like this, you would have to simplify and make sure um, all the colors were correct. So she's not going to be able to color change these situations. But for example, this one, perfect. She can absolutely come in here and customize that. So to do that one more time with a different set. So now that I'm done with this, I'm going to close out of it. I already started this one, this one. So my client is an Airbnb in Atlanta. Um, so I'm gonna paste her color palette again. And these little houses are precious. So again, white arrow tool, select, same fill color. And then I'm going to pull like probably this pink and just come through and select this tedious process of the colors. Now this set did already come in SVGs, but I just want to save my client time. I don't want her to have to go through and constantly change um, colors. Like she should be able to use these pretty out of the bat and only change the colors if she needs to for um, like something quick. Uh, that's cute. Do, 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 do. The white arrow tool is gonna to allow you to select just that shape versus the whole thing. So that's a nice tool also. Um, do, 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 okie dokie. Let's make that like a light green. That's cute. All right, so I'm just clicking around, checking. 
Um, oh, so cute. <laughs> uh, her brand is really bright and colorful. She runs a dip, uh, alpaca cottage here in Atlanta where I'm at and she's at. So if you like alpacas and you want to stay somewhere with alpacas, that's going to be my client. Um, okay, I think I've got most of this. So these are looking much more on brand for her. Um, I might tweak a few things. Like I don't really love how that green came out. I don't know what these little dots are all about right here. I would rather them just be white. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick little review because again, you know, it doesn't have to be like 100% perfect. So now, oh, I don't like this brown color. I know that for a fact. Cool. This brown color. No, thank you green. I don't know if this yellow, I think it is her brand color, but I think I'd rather it be this like green or pink or something. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So make sure they're grouped. Make sure each of these elements are grouped. I'm going to copy all of them, move them over to asset export, click export. And then here I've got map. Oh, nope. I'm going to make a new folder called map elements. Choose. Now I'm gonna come back over to Canva. I'm gonna come back into her brand files. I already had a map elements folder here. And boom, gonna add those. I'm gonna pause and let them upload. All right, for the most part, they're uploaded. I'm going to refresh my demo page here. You always need to refresh when you make changes to folders and graphics within Canva, very important. Um, otherwise, it's, it doesn't upload automatically like your Dropbox or your computer. So let's pop in this precious little house. Yay. So here I'm noticing I forgot these little chimney things. So it, it's not too far off from her brand colors, but you can easily swap it around. So now she can create a cute little village. I'm going to be going through and doing a few other things for her from these packs that she downloaded. So again, that is an SVG format, SVG way to be. You need to start with a vector. So this needs to be opened in an AI format or a EPS format so that you can change it to an SVG using the asset export. Thanks so much. Hi.